Okay, let's see if he reacts to commands. Bloopy, bloopy. Nope. <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna take some time to teach him how to walk on a leash. Hello everyone. Today uh, we've got fantastic weather outside. Blue is super interested in what's going on outside, all of the smells, all of the sounds. Um, so we're gonna take him outside. Uh, we've been training him uh, how to walk on a leash for um, a couple weeks, I wanna say. So he's been outside on a leash maybe five or six times by now. Um, and I just want to show you the progress that we made from not being able to uh, put the harness on and really not liking it. Um, and uh, once the harness was on, not being able to move or thinking that he's not able to move because he's too restricted uh, to, to this now. Um, instead of explaining how he works now, let me just show you. Ruby. Good boy. Bluebell. Bluebell. Bluebee. Bluebell. Bluebee. He's making cookies. Super interested. Super interested. Bloopy. Oh, he's making cookies. Look at this. <laughs> Still looks funny with the mane sticking out. More cookies. Ruby. Yeah, he loves a manhole. <laughs> and this is this is one of his favorite bushes. Bloopy. Hey! <laughs> Ach Come here! Come on! Rubel! <laughs> Rubel! Come on! Come on! Ruby. Uh oh. He found something. <laughs> That's a weird position. Oh, his tail is so dirty. So dirty. He walks like really low on his paws. I think I think he's like trying to be um, cautious about being able to run if anything happens. Everything is super interesting. Grass sticks stones and when he comes out here and it's nice and sunny he always hugs those um concrete slabs uh, because they get really warm <laughs> look at the cookies he's making <laughs> so cute little explorer Hello. He's pouring this whole time. He's not stopping pouring. Too happy. I think we're gonna have to start walking him like a dog every day. He's uh, he's barely started to walk with the with the harness on. He didn't really like it to start, but now he's a big fan because he knows that gets him outside. He's taking me for a walk now. <laughs> oh my god, he's walking like a dog. Look at him. 
Luby. Come on. Luby. Look at this. <laughs> He's getting so much better. Come on. He just gets distracted by many, many things. And like smallest things and smells anything. <gasps> all the flowers, all the greenery, all the flies, all the birds, everything. He doesn't really care for the cars anymore. Uh, he's he's used to the sound now. Okay, come on, baby, let's go back. I'm giving him option. He can come back or we can go for another walk. He's not sure. Five hours later. Sure, I'm just gonna hold the door open for you. <laughs> okay, I think we're going for another walk. Oh, he doesn't walk as well as um, dogs tend to. He, he sort of cuts me off all the time. Oh, and I'm getting tail hug. So cute. Hello, one happy kitty here. Blueby. Oh, okay. Yeah, he loves the nature. Loves all the plants. Just don't eat it. Yeah. He's got tendencies to eat everything he finds. Hello. He's super cuddly. <laughs> Observing the cars from a safe place. Oh, he keeps trying to go over there, but I don't want to walk past people's um, windows because it's like Saturday morning. I want to respect the privacy. Blueby, come on, we can go this way. This way. He doesn't really pull on the leash. Uh, he just sort of sits in the direction that he wants to go if I if I stop him. <laughs> Bluebell. Yeah, too many distractions. He doesn't even react now. Come on. I think the outside is working on all of his senses. So we just had a group of people walking past us and um, Blubo is super friendly to strangers. Um, he was giving tail hugs, he was giving head bumps. I think uh, just being out here on the, on the warm uh, surface, heated by the sun, uh, he's just loving every moment of it. Um, my little explorer. <laughs> I almost feel bad taking him back to the house, but also given how friendly he is towards people, uh, he would be taken uh, by by some naughty people in a matter of minutes. And I think he's hunting. He can see. Okay, there's a beetle there, uh, but I don't want him to. I don't want him to kill it. So we're just gonna observe. I'm gonna hold him. We just discovered moss and um, he's not sure about the, the texture of moss uh, but that doesn't seem to matter because he, he can see some flies now so he's in a hunting mode. Oh and the beetle is back. Mm, good moss, good moss. Okay, we're back from the walk um, he wasn't so keen on coming back but we've been outside for mm, half an hour to 40 minutes and um, I just wanted to point out his paws his paws are like pixies they not they not gray and they are pure white um, and I think um, that just proves what an explorer he is um, it's just fair to say that uh, I think he was born to be outside uh, but uh, like I said outside given how friendly he is and uh, the amount of tail hugs he gave to strangers uh, <laughs> it's just not safe for him to be outside <laughs> also he walks in the harness now even when he's not outside um, so that's bonus <laughs> i
And if you were wondering about what Pixie was up to uh, in our absence, she's too domesticated to go outside. Uh, we've tried many times, um, but it turns out that Pixie just likes her hardwood floor. Carpet is just about as much fluffiness as she can take on her posies. <laughs> she doesn't even like a blanket. Um, so Pixie stays inside and she plays with her little toys. Um, she's got this bad boy, she loves licking it. Uh, so this is like pressed catnip, uh, she loves that. Uh, she doesn't like big toys. Oh, she's getting interested in the phone. <laughs> Before we finish off today, I just wanted to address one more thing. Um, and it's uh, what we were a little bit scared about. Uh, we, were, we were worried that because we didn't teach them how to walk on a leash, um, from like very young age, uh, they wouldn't learn. Uh, however, uh, to, to give you some context, Bluebell is um, three years old right now, and we literally started training him like two weeks ago. Uh, initially, uh, it wasn't it wasn't very easy. We had to take it in very small steps, and I think this is like the key. Uh, you can't jump to taking the cat outside straight away maybe start with putting the harness on inside of the house uh, so they get comfortable with that and you know sort of minimize the the new things uh, necessary in like one step to take him outside <laughs> instead of you know putting everything on taking him outside straight away uh, get them used to the small things you know put the harness on and put the leash on maybe maybe learn let's start to walk in the house and then take him outside and um, that's how we did it and uh, i think i think the small steps part really helps um that's all we have for you today guys i hope you enjoyed today's video um and we'll see you in the next one uh let us know in the comments below if you take your cat outside or if your cat is allowed to go outside alone and how are you not scared i would be scared that my cat is gonna get stolen um See you in the next one. Bye.